Polish indoor team park here in the center of Tokyo. Let's check it out what it's all about. See if it's worth it. Welcome to the crazy arcade indoor theme park of Joy World here in Tokyo. It's gonna do lots of the things. Yes! What do I do now? I've got this little thing with me. And I'm exploring, finding a quest, find the answer of everything that is in this place. And so I follow the tips on my device and try to find an emblem. And I hope that will work out. Let's, let's find it, I hope. <laughs> So even this half pipe where I just came out, it's a game. When you go down, you have to press the button with your feet on the right timing like a dancing game. So even at an attraction like this they know how to make it to a game. It's like unique. I don't see that in any in the other team block in Europe or anything. It's beautiful, they should do this, it's amazing. <laughs> Is this how you play games? A few things about Joy Portis. It has the most crazy roller coaster ID I've ever encountered anywhere in the world. Of course, the roller coaster inside in the first place, but listen. When you get into the car, there's three little buttons in the in the car, and it's like a music game inside the roller coaster. So first, you get to the track, and you have to push the buttons on the right time with a Sonic the Hedgehog theme song on the background, and it just makes you a competition with people who, is, who are in the car in the first place. And then when you finish that, the the color will indicate who is who is one before you enter the actual roller coaster. So this is absolutely crazy and one of the most crazy roller coasters I've ever seen here in this beautiful place in Japan, Tokyo. Crazy. This one, Storm G, is basically like a racing game in which you go 360 degrees. This is like a bobsled going down the hill but also with some half pipes in it. But you go 360 degrees so you go head spin over. It's fucking crazy. In Really, really cool. In a game, like in a game. <laughs> this place, it was fucking crazy, man. It's like amazing, like this indoor theme park, three floors, and the, the passport is definitely worth it for all the attractions. Don't go for individual attractions. There's too many places to see there. So now going back to uh, my place and in the, this beautiful view over here, Tokyo skyline.